Okay, we are back with Men in Black 3. Now, this is yeah. both you and I's first time seeing this. Yes. I didn't pay any attention to it in the theaters at all either, myself. Well, uh, I think I don't know that. It, I, want, I wanted to see it only because it had James Brolin playing Tommy Lee playing Jones. Playing Tommy Lee Jones as a young... And I remember a long time ago, you made a comment about that. Like, James Brolin playing like a young version of Tommy Lee Jones. But yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Come on. I mean, how do we know that it wasn't? I mean, it was almost like, I'm pretty sure that I almost thought that was Tommy Lee Jones' voice. Is very much like Tommy Lee Jones, right? Like he's oh, yeah. he played he a played, perfect young version of Tommy Lee Jones. Played a perfect version of Tommy Lee Jones, which he's not the first character to actually play a, a younger version of Tommy Lee Jones. Huh. In other movies. Oh, in other movies, yeah. Like, yeah, you know, because of the Lonesome Dove series, we had two other characters play the younger version of Tommy Lee Jones. Oh, really? Yeah. Carl Urban. <gasps> I think you told me about that before, too. He's not actually the only one worth remembering because he actually did a good job too. Because oh, but he Paul played Urban did. he played the younger version of a character that Tommy Lee Jones played. Oh, and he did a okay. very good job on making me. I, I was, I, as soon as he talks, he's like, "I already know who you are, dude." <laughs> it's Tommy Lee. Jones. Captain Woodrow Carl, Tommy Lee Jones. I mean, even Josh so, Bullen so, did a very good yes, job. Yes, he did exactly. He made, he made, like he did, he did beyond a very good job. He did the facial expressions and everything. He did like, everything. As far as I was concerned, that was Tommy Lee Jones. How Jones about you, Slick? And you know what? I like this movie better than the second one. Oh, I love this movie like, way better than the this second This movie one. was way better than the second one. Like, I didn't know what it was because, first of all, you know, like... They well, it doesn't start time. off. It starts off, yeah, it starts off, you're kind of like, eh, is this going to be just like as bad as the second one? But after it gets going, it's like, this one's awesome. Oh, after it then, gets going. And because... then when you get to the very end, it's like, man, this was amazing. <laughs> oh, see, it's the they end just... that got it for me. Did you see that it's coming? The end. Did you see the end coming? Well, like let's that? put it this way. I okay. saw it coming right, right before it gets killed. Oh, okay. But you didn't right expect before it. Gets it killed, yeah, I, yeah. yeah, I didn't expect that. As soon as I thought it, I was like, this is Agent K's dad. Oh, yeah. See, I didn't know. No, get Agent J. I mean, Agent J, yeah. Yeah, I saw this is Agent Stage Dad, I bet. Because all of a sudden, I go, because I was trying, trying to figure out, because, you know, they said earlier in the movie, they showed the pocket watch. Yes. And it brings up his dad. So you were like, why did it bring up his dad for? But maybe he's just trying to bond with Tommy Lee Jones' character. I think then so. Then later on, yeah. then when he goes to do the time travel, they go, well, you're already there. In that <gasps> yes, time. when they said that, like, what? And it's like, well, how's he already there? Oh. But then when, you know, when, when, uh, after the Josh Brolin starts talking to the Colonel, I was like, I bet you that is, uh, Agent K, right. I mean, Agent J's dad. I mean, and then also, he gets killed. And also, as soon, like, as, he gets, yeah. as soon as he gets shot, I was like, well, he is J. Also, I knew it before for sure. that, right? Like, he, they also mentioned, like, you know, like when you say um, Jay talks about his father, he also mentioned a little thing, like, you know, I used to throw the ball, but no one was there to catch it because, you know, my father wasn't around. But then yeah. you didn't think that he was a colonel. He didn't ever say anything about, like, he no, he didn't say nothing. Yeah, I know. You just because, well, I think just... time, ch I also think the time thing changed too. Okay, so because you, you got to remember, he says that he always says what changed Agent K because Agent K went to a certain point and then he just changed as a person. Oh, I love that. But they also mentioned like you know what, it hasn't happened yet. He kept asking like, uh, Jay kept asking K like, what happened to you, K? He's like, I don't know. It hasn't happened yet. He asked him at least three times, and all three in the, times, yeah. Well, in the, what he's in the past, yet. well, because yes. he doesn't know, but he he know he knew that something happened to him in the past. And I, Before he trained you, he already knows something's happened. And I feel like that, like, um, J K never opened up to him because he didn't want to know too much about his own past or something like that, you know? Yeah, well, he also changed things, too. That's the thing. When we get to the end, I mean, after he, I'm thinking Josh Brolin's character, after he's dealt with Agent J, when he flashes the kid, he changes the story probably, too. Oh, yeah. Because he probably didn't know how to deal with it. Yeah, he didn't know how to deal with it, yes. Hey, did you think that there was a, did you even think that this was like a time travel movie in the beginning? Because the first two wasn't right, but on well, you knew one, it was time travel. You knew it was time travel through the trailer. Oh, wait, so. the trailer because the uh, the Brolin. Yeah, right? because the Brolin was here. But I mean, I never made it to the theater to see it. So I, me busy, neither. Yeah. So I want to point out from the which first is a shame one, because this one was good. Well, from the first one to the second one is five years between the sequels, right? And then this from the second one to the third one is another ten years. So yeah. like everybody yeah. aged significantly. It takes, a, it takes a little while to get into this movie. This is kind of like one of those movies that, well, you know, it's been 15 years of the first one. It's kind of like the uh, the fourth Matrix, right? It's like 
20 years from the first movie. The yeah, third one yeah. is kind of like that. Like, well, it's been a long time since the first well, movie. Well, that's because everybody had other movies to make, too. So. Yeah, and I I never thought, like, how much of a time gap that was either. But, you yeah, know, to me, this is... If if you didn't have to see the first one to appreciate this one, this one would almost be better than the first one. And I also want to mention, because, you know, Johnny Knoxville is not in this one, so that's why it's much better. Like, right <laughs> off the bat, that's how I yeah. would say it. Well, they didn't get... They, didn't, they toned it back. It wasn't as gimmicky and stuff. The only it's gimmicky not... looking thing was the prison, Supermax prison on the moon. I yeah. was like, uh... But that was okay, at least as, as long as the character didn't act like they're comical. Yeah, well, it wasn't a good. It was goo- It wasn't as goofy as the second one. I you know, was. in the beginning, it was hard for me to take two with Boris and that. I don't know the admirer. Is that what we can call her? Not his girlfriend, right? Because oh yeah, why well, would that? Kind of, why would his, that guy his, in the prison for? It was 40 his minion. Years? Oh, it was his okay. minion. And I'm thinking like, it took him forty years to figure this out. I feel like they could have done this the first week he was in jail. Well, it probably took a long time for her to get to the moon. Oh, you think that's why, right? Yeah. And I'm surprised that she can even get to the moon. Like, hey, yeah, that, yeah hey. you can clear to go this. Like, yeah, that didn't whatever. make any sense. But, I mean, that was the only thing I thought was going to ruin the movie. But after it got going, I was like, ah, who cares about the beginning? Yeah, cause the beginning was hard for me to take because Zed dies. Yeah. You know? Which oh, actually, uh, Zed's a, which is actually the actor that played Zed's in the movie. He's one of the big headed aliens at his own funeral. Wait, Rip Thorn was in the movie? Yeah. Yeah. No. Was it? Yeah. It's oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I was just reading about the stuff, and it says uh, Tim Burton was in the movie, but just one of the t- uh, aliens. Yeah. Like, the well, he's one of the background aliens. There was yeah. a whole bunch of people as background. Uh, Lady Gaga was the background alien. Yeah, and then they said Justin Bieber, Yao Ming, but like, I didn't even pay attention to Yeah, but who, that don't matter, though. Really quick. And those guys. But yeah, even the, the, the alien maker, uh, Baker. The Baker. Was it Baker? The guy that designed the aliens for this movie. Oh, I don't know. Oh, uh, you mean he was? Oh, he was the uh, yeah. Rick, was that Rick Baker? Yeah, he's yeah. another alien that was in the funeral. He was in uh yeah. I thought that was another alien that was like a uh, worker the behind the scenes, like the guy. Oh, there's the there's costume quite a few. designer, I think. Yeah, costume designer was in there. Yeah, it was, it was a big headed alien from the uh, carnival. Yeah, the, well, the big alien that was Zed. Oh, okay. No, I had no idea. But anyways, the director's in this movie twice. Wait, say it again. The director of this movie's in this movie twice. Oh, he is? Yeah. Well, you know when Will Smith jumps off the Chrysler building and he got travels through the stock market oh, crash, that's he like says people jumping. <laughs> that one guy is, <laughs> yeah, is, is I the recognize director. The face. Plus, he's also the one of the people sitting watching the uh, rocket launch to space. Oh, the six, I didn't see 60s. that. I mean, like, I didn't catch that. Plus, his daughter's in it, too. Oh, his daughter was the uh, hippie with that black dude. Yep. Yeah. And she was also the she was also in the first uh, in second the, movie the second too. one, yeah. So. With uh, in a couch with uh, uh Well, it had actually had a lot of people come back because also the girl that what's in the second one, you know, he tells agent whatever his name, the first agent he's training in the first second movie. Yeah. He goes go marry this girl and have a lot of kids. Oh, was for Marie. Really? Yeah. Yeah, the girl he marries in this movie. She's in case building you know when case changes and disappears which i want to point out they actually kind of show where they live this time but yep. we don't know where they live they, they live yeah. in an apartment or something they live in an apartment so nobody knows because emma thompson emma thompson's in the movie what do you think about that agent O. agent O. <laughs> you know this which, the, the jokes in this one was better than the second one i feel like yeah well, yeah there, there's well they're way better than the they're second way one. Better but also than the second we also get to see the younger Oh, yeah, oh, which is that. uh, was it Eva or Eve? What was her name? I forgot her oh, name. yeah, I didn't Actresses. know who the uh, actually. Oh, she said Star Trek 2 Into Darkness. Oh, she was that's or right. Star Trek 12, depending on how you want to look yeah. at it. She was in the Star Trek movie, I do remember the doctor that yeah. played uh, Pillar Willis' da- daughter. Yes, yes, yeah, I do remember now. I did like Will Smith's hesitation, like you know, I call everyone K, you know, but I also want to point this out. K. Didn't the colonel look familiar to you? No. Guess what? What? Will Smith's dad is Luke Cage. Is that really him? Yep, that's Luke Cage, man. <laughs> oh, I didn't recognize him. Thought... Oh, what else watching? It's like, this guy looks familiar. So you this... looked well, him I mean, up. he's way oh young. Yeah, he's way he's young. Way and young. I kept thinking, I know this guy. Can't figure out who this guy is. Dang it, they Turns don't out... have it on Wikipedia. So, on the... so let me tell you, photo. when uh, Agent K goes... Son, 
your dad's a hero. And he's telling the truth. It's just like your dad's Luke Cage. It's Power Man. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, power man, that's man. really good. Hold on. Let me finish my joke. So I was saying like uh, when. Oh, James okay. Cameron I didn't know it was a joke. You. No, no, not that part. <laughs> that um, when he's like that. The, I, when I was saying the joke was better in this one, right? When he's talking to Josh Bowler, he's like, how do you know my name? Well, I just call every man K. Hey, what's up, K? Hey, what's up, K? And like, oh, oh, uh, I, I call all the females. Oh, because when I see a couple around, I said, okay. That was so lame. And I was laughing so hard at that because it was so This is so lame. But then but then it works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know why that is so stupid. Or like I why why I love it that so much. I don't know either. I missed that joke completely because <laughs> oh. it wasn't that funny. But okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> and I feel like that um well, first of all, like it, it, it touched on what I told you before, right? Like time traveling, like a black guy traveling anywhere back in time from nineteen nineties, right? It's not gonna be good for him. And I like that 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 clerk guy was like, Hey, um, you know, back in that time things are not working out well for you for your kind of people, you know what I mean? <laughs> I love that so much. Like when um when he went back in time, right, he stole that dude's call from the valley. Yeah. And and we told the cops, like, when he did the new one lies, it's like, hey, just because a black man's behind a nice car, this doesn't mean that he stole it. Well, I stole Even though I one. did steal this one, <laughs> but it's not because I'm one. black. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. And what else did I like? Uh, the big, um, the big new light or the new realizer, right? Yeah. Can you imagine well, what yeah. happens if you actually use it on him, make him forget everything? Yeah, well, that's, that's probably the oldest one they had. Because, you know, they also had the battery belt pack for the neuralizer he had. Oh, that's right. Because remember, he had the tiny neuralizer with the battery pack. He tries to charge it up. Yeah. And <laughs> I, I like the um, blending of using, like, actual guns with the alien hardware. Because, you know, when yeah. he remember, remember when J, uh, K, J asked Cave, like, give me your gun. Then he actually gave him his pistol. Like, no, 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 your alien gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> and he, he just looks at him. No, 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 the alien gun. <laughs> and I like he tried to pull rank on him, like I'm the I'm the senior agent, right? You're the rookie here. <laughs> oh, so did you like the time travel thing? Oh, I love the time travel. It's almost did... actually, a, actually, it's almost a crazy question to ask me. Did you like time travel? Oh, of course uh, I do. I know I'm not. So I have some problems with it because, like, well, I don't have any problems with it. You know why? What what sol solved the problem for the time travel for me? Which what? made it increase it. They run into an alien they can see in the fifth dimensions. So he constantly oh. sees in several different timelines, which to me is amazing because you know all it has takes is one thing to change the timeline. Yes, yes, he did. And, and he, he could see it. He, he could, could see it all. It. Yes, he, he could see all it. it and if something does it, he could see the even see it after the loses a timeline. A timeline didn't happen. One changed, one disappears. He could see another timeline. Yes, I I did like that the, too. I thought he was a goofy alien, but the problem is with him seeing everything and then showing them. It was amazing. It was amazing. I like that um, Jay got to him first. He's like, uh, okay. <laughs> this guy's like, this guy's kind of off the wall. But when he started explaining, right, like, oh, exactly uh, two, 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 20 seconds from now, this is going to happen. So I better move by plate. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. And he looks for clues for, of something else that happened to see what universe he's in. So oh. it's basically he's walking around in multi uh, alternate universes yes and he could yeah he could see the timeline i like the, how they show that when they touch him right they can see what he's seeing yeah that so, was pretty cool yeah they see what you well whatever timeline he thinks that, he's set, standing that character in. remind me of that girl from minority report except that that one from my oh okay report, yeah you can see one timeline the alien guy is like he's seen multiples at once yeah you can see multiples but of course, the girl can only see it one timeline because truly, if you're in a timeline, if somebody changes something or if you tell somebody what's going to happen, they can change that yeah, timeline. They can change the timeline, right? But see him, it doesn't matter because he sees multiple timelines just over like little events. Let's say I stepped on a bug and something just changed things. So, or since... I lost somebody else bumped into me to come out of another timeline and made me lose my wallet and I had to go back to the diners. Well, so since the alien thing, uh, help you understand that time travel, right? I think. When I got bothered by it first was then Tommy Lee Jones, right? You know, his version of K. He just pressed something and he was just out of the timeline. It, that's when the moment it kind oh, of yeah. it kind of gave mean, Will Smith's J uh K uh J character like a little dizzy spell. If, if, 
you know, he yeah, did and the, made him want milk and all kinds of stuff. I mean, it was right. goofy on that, but I mean, that's, I mean, it's not even goofy in a lot of other time travel movies we watch. I mean, basically, this is a better, this is back to the future time travel. Is it? Because in my mind, I'm thinking, like, how come it didn't take away his memory, though? Like, it's just everyone else's. Yeah, but it changed her. the same thing happens with Marty McFly. He has all his memories, but it changes everybody else around him. Oh, you're talking about Back to the Future 2, yes. Yeah, Back to the Future 2. Oh, that's a good comparison. He does us, and it changes everybody, and it changes the world he's in, because it's actually supposed to, even by the fifth dimension guy that's in the film, he should have been able to change timelines completely and not been able, I mean, he shouldn't remember. Ooh. Why would one person remember why the, everything else you know around what? him changes? It feels like that guy, the alien guy, is he's he's like a watcher. He can see what's going on, right? But he doesn't interfere. You know, basically, yeah, he could be. But a you watcher, know what's really but, weird though? But the is watcher him, has all of his cranium. It's him talking, right? Like anyone could interfere. Like, well, if I understand what you're saying, right? I could interfere, but then you don't give me enough time because you said like, oh, in seven seconds, this is how to, about to happen, right? Like, all I can do is just stand there and watch it. Yeah, happen. but by him change, by him moving and going to this door, going that door, who actually starts to change the timeline? Oh yes. But oh, he can automatically, but he can automatically see the timeline as it changes. So I it did like matter. that when he mentioned because that like, time because like put it this way, let's say he's about to get shot, and he moves over. To, five inches left and he doesn't get shot but that timeline ends now he won't ever see the rest of the time oh, so but he'll start to see another several different timelines it's formed i did like that um when he told uh will smith like hey i'll see you ch- i'll see you later at the game like he knew it was going to happen right like but then that that crew will eventually picked up remember they had they go and have pie i thought they were just going to neutralize each other that's <laughs> kind of like the second one right it's like I love that. Let's go have some pie. Oh so, yeah, some, like, uh, wait, uh, when they go have thing, yeah, when they go have say. when they go have pie, that we should point out that James Brolin's watch is the same watch from Men in Black Two that he gives those little people in the locker. Oh, because yeah, because yeah, he hasn't yeah, done that he has yet. Because he has that watch. Yeah, he has oh, that yeah. watch. Well, he, he well I can't believe for... you pay attention to that. Yeah, well, it's going to be, yeah, the second part hasn't even happened yet. Yeah, the second part, so that part hasn't happened. Well, it's so part two, yeah. Did you purposely pay name. attention to it? No, I just happened to notice it. Oh, you just happened to notice it, okay. I didn't well, because they've shown it, because, you know, they're showing their watches, because, you know, the other one's got that triangle watch. You know, I like, awesome. when that alien guy talked to Will Smith, I didn't Love. even pick up the watch thing, like the, the clock in his, you know, the pocket watch. It wasn't until oh, it Oh, you didn't pick and... up the pocket watch? Well, I like pocket watches, so I thought it was cool. Mm. I mean, maybe that's why. Like, I knew he was getting to somewhere. That's probably but... why I like I like watches. Well, he was probably getting somewhere, right? I just didn't have enough knowledge to understand where he was going. Well, I didn't know where yeah. he was going either. Yeah, but exactly. I mean, it eventually popped up. I mean, eventually oh. standing when when he's standing with that guy, because you're you're wondering, and all of a sudden it's like it just come to me. This has got to be his dad, and then he gets shot. And I'm like, yep, he is. Wow. And I then didn't... he's got to figure out what he's got to tell him. You know. Yeah, he's got to tell. Oh. Because that's the event that changes Tom Lee Jones' character. Why it makes him so quiet and not willing to share with Will Smith's character. That much. I know. That, that's why it was Cause, so cause he good. apparently Because he doesn't know what to, what he's supposed to do. Yeah, I know. You, what would you do? Because the problem, him. you can't go, oh, your dad got killed by an alien. You no, how would that. you know? Yeah, how would you know? And how is he going to do? He's at a rocket launch site. <laughs> he didn't yeah. get killed by anybody. But I like that it can... explains that from that moment since Men in Black 1. That's why Tommy Lee Jones' character doesn't share too much. And in this one, they point out like, hey, don't ask questions that you don't want the answers to. Yeah. Well, they They're tell, pointed out really well. Yeah, they said a lot of times. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I like, uh, I love to, I, I love the actor Bill Hader, okay? And he plays Andy Warhol in this one, which is <laughs> incredible. Yeah, well, somewhere in the party, I don't know that I I didn't see her, but okay. uh, Will Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett, supposed to be a party. No, one of the parties that the guests. It says it the, on the computer. I didn't see it. Oh, it might be just a little glimpse, or maybe I don't know. I have to look. But I, didn't I do see like her name on there. Well, she just makes a little appearance. But anyhow, I will also put a point when it goes to the '60s office, the MIB offices. You know, all the aliens that's in the office all look like the aliens from the old movies in the '60s. Wait, which oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the first, yeah, uh, you know, they, they got that. Back in time, yes. Yeah, they look like the like the aliens you'd see in the old movies. Yes. Which I think there was there was a character, and I don't know, I could be wrong. I'm just get, I'm speculating. I saw a character that walked by, it looked like Barbarella. No, did you really? Yeah. Is that crazy? Know, 
they they I guess they use character like that, and because they use put Stallone in one of the monitors, bro. <laughs> like yeah. all the monitors, I, I I saw Stallone right away. Like oh, you know what? Yeah, I did. I saw. I remember seeing Stallone too. Did this one, I feel like the second one had more like celebrity cameos than this. Yeah, I think it, they overdid it though. They do. They do put a lot of people in the movie. They I shouldn't. mean, like actually, Will Arnett was in this movie, but but he only. Yeah, Will Arnett was the AA, AA, a, agent right? AA. Yeah. yeah. So he wasn't in it alone, which was good because, like the second one, they overdid everything. Yeah, this thing why they just pushed work too hard. And, and I think that's why we like this one better. I don't know because I like this one better because the end is it's the ending. This, the, well, ending the ending made well, it, it, so gave, it made the characters it probably actually gave more to the characters now. Yeah, even though they're men of light, we supposed to not know anything about them. The time travel aspect was good too. Yeah, the time travel was always the chocolate fun. milk thing. I didn't understand, but I like they just well, play a little. Come bit. on, it was goofy. It was the it was goofy. A goofy ex. It was a goofy explanation for the time travel deal. Because yeah. here's the thing: nobody else knew something happened to Will Smith's character. He's the only yes. one. The thing is, if, if time travel was really going to work, he wouldn't. None of this would have happened. It would have been an alternate reality, anyways. They would have. Agent K would have kept on living, and they would have never knew that the guy took a time jump. I know that time. You know, in real time, yeah. If you leave a timeline, it doesn't change that timeline. No, the only change in the time. Yeah, the only thing in the timeline that will change is that you're not there anymore. Ooh, that's and that's your fact that you're that. never coming back. So when he you can did come that, back into that timeline. So when yeah. he t- so when Tommy Lee Jones did the time jump, no, that should no, have changed that timeline. No, when the bad guy jumped out of time, oh, you should have changed it. Not the Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah, when Boris jumps out of the timeline, it shouldn't have changed anything. Shouldn't have raced anybody or changed anything. But what? Tommy Lee Jones jumped. Tommy Lee Jones' character never jumped. Time jumped. Where did he go? That's the thing. He should have still be there. You think so? I thought he time jumped. I thought he. No, his character never time jumped. Then where did he go? He erased him, but because he made he killed him. Boris, in their in their t- time, Boris jumped out of time and went and killed Tommy Lee Jones. Oh, so you went say when, so it should okay, have erased okay. him. So it erased him oh. from that timeline, but it shouldn't have erased him from nothing. It should have created created an alternate timeline oh, I see where what Tommy Lee mean. Jones never okay. existed. So I so I was confused on that. I thought when Tommy Lee Jones he grabbed the gun, right? I thought he went back in time or something. No, he was getting ready for. Oh, was, oh he was getting ready to fight. He was getting ready to fight. He thought Boris was gonna come there and kill him. But he went. He went back in time and took care of it. So that's a timeline where Boris went into succeeded. Yeah, there should have been a timeline where Boris succeeded, but Which was, that's the thing. What happened? Okay. But somehow they messed up the timeline. So that's the problem with the, yeah, the chocolate milk stuff. One, yeah. yeah. Now Charlie Jones' character disappeared because it's like, like I said, it's like Back, to, back the to the Future. When Marty messes up, his his brother and sister disappear, and then he slowly disappears. They're never born. Whoa. So in the future, in the timeline, that'd be like saying, "Oh, in that timeline where everybody's hanging out, and it was time with uh, they just disappear." It doesn't work that way, though. No, yeah, I, I won't. Yeah, well, so I mean, now... timeline time travel is not proven to be real, anyways. But if it was, you can't just alter a timeline and everything just it doesn't morph appear, around. Yeah, so that's not the way matter even works. That's so we're just trying to say that Tommy Lee Jones just blipped. Yeah, he should have just stayed there. He would just stay there. Yeah, it's another. And that the only thing timeline. was Boris would have been gone. Yeah, and another timeline would have formed. But the thing is, Agent K would have never known anything. I meant Agent J would have never known anything because he would have never been recruited to the MIB, anyways. That's right. You know, see, most so likely, on, that, hold most on, likely, hold on. So most on likely, that, he was killed. Right, it should be maybe like you're right on that same timeline that we saw in the movie, right? Like. K would never been recruited. He would never been MIP. He would just be back in a police, uh, uh, a cop. Yeah, because they never explained why did who the person who okay. made him an MIP now didn't we, exist. Yeah. Now we just so a lot of that apart. shouldn't have never existed. Yeah, so, a well, lot of in that a way, much... right? Like because we believe K is the only one that recruited him. So what if J is still an M- MIP, but K wasn't the one that recruits him? Could be, but most likely when Boris killed all those people, because you know. Most likely, K went back when K was at the launch site at Cape Canaveral, Cape Kennedy, whatever it was called then. By the way, it's Cape Kennedy then. But anyways, okay, he, he probably would have killed the colonel and his son. Oh, so you're saying that he would have just off all of them? Yep, he probably could have offed all. But of them. But right now, I had a problem with like 
yeah, Jay shouldn't have been the main in black after he went back in time. To you him. should have, because yeah. that's the thing. We don't we're just show who would have hired oh, him. This time travel thing is just because the thing is, his dad he would have. Because the thing is, if if Boris didn't kill his dad, because let's just say that Boris didn't kill his dad, well, then he probably would have grown up to be a military person. Hmm. Asia J would be serving in the military somewhere. That's very true. Oh my! Because his dad, he would have had his dad. His dad there would have left. Now we're just talking about alternate realities because Boris went back first. But the thing is, we know from the real timeline, K J's dad gets killed. Yes. And K survives. But in that timeline, we don't know if J if Jay's dad gets killed. And you know what? And, and from, K gets killed. And from this ending, right? Brolin's uh K kills Boris. Yeah, this time around he does. So it actually wow. Well, <laughs> this time he does. It's just so out of whack. Yeah, so out of whack. Because when he gets back to Tommy Lee Jones in the future, he None of this happened. None of this will happen, right? Yeah, none of the, nothing we saw by their timeline, the way they tell the future, changed, and, and the Tommy Lee Jones is already a different character. Oh, this is very, like, days of the future past. Yeah, but that's the thing. Now Will Smith goes well, to the back, future. This is Back to the Future 3, where, like, okay. So we, him and, so him and Tommy Lee Jones' characters always been friends, and Boris never escaped the prison, and they never saw any of that. Wow. Let's talk a minute about the prison on by, uh, by the moon. <laughs> why? That's like the worst part of the movie. To be honest oh, so um, why is that the worst part of the movie for you? <laughs> it's just ridiculously silly. Why? Because it's it, a, even even for their movie, for aliens though. Even for their movie, it's just kind of what they went and built this giant supermax prison right where Apollo Eleven landed. Yeah, why not? Because everybody can see the thing. <laughs> well, you know, you could lie, right? You could see it. I can't they can see, see it. it with a telescope. Mm, oh, that's true. No, of course you can't because you don't have a telescope. But if you will get in your car and go get you a stinking telescope, you can go see it right now. Yeah, but this, well, that, don't you have to know minutes. what you're looking for, though? Well, yeah, you can get on the internet. Look, dude, oh. you can see the space station. We already went over this. Hey, you know what? Um, Anybody who thinks the world is flat can't see it because... <laughs> so um, there's one character that didn't make it back, though, David Cross. He yeah, well, thank God. Two. Yeah, well, I didn't miss <laughs> him. I didn't miss as him. As long as the important people showed up, it's fine. Yeah. I mean, it's mainly the only two characters supposed to show up is Agent J and Agent K. I mean, well, there's two Agent Ks because, you know, it's Brolin and Tommy Lee Jones, which actually, well, Tommy actually Lee there's... Jones is not in that movie that much. And, because... there, and there is two Agent Js in a way because there's a little baby J and there's Agent J. Oh, that little, little kid, kid yeah. yeah. One of the, uh, yeah. So there. Wow. You know, this, well, just because of time travel, but then this movie is still very good, though. This movie's awesome. Did this it make it for you when, like, you the ending? Because that's what's what made it for me. Like, the ending? The ending's what like, made it for me. Well, yeah, the, time the ending, moved. yeah. It got the bet. That was what did it. But, I mean, when they got the time travel part and then did the milk thing, of course, I had a problem with it. I was like, <laughs> that's just goofy, like the, like the space moon deal. Because yeah. you wanted to talk about, why are we going to talk about it? Because you want to talk about the the Moon Deal prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. All right. You like it? The Moon Prison thing. I was. Oh, you were just hating on me while I go. Like <laughs> you had a problem with it. It's too. okay, but then I I did like the idea because it's kind of like Alcatraz, right? You put it somewhere yeah. that well, I mean, it makes sense. You will, you would need an alien prison. You would think there yeah. would be one. There, there got to be one. Right Right there on the moon, this big giant thing right there on the moon. It just looks silly there. Because like it also gives us time. Like let's just say if there's a alien outbreak, right? For that from that prison, it at least gives us time to respond. Like okay, we have however many hours before yeah. they get here. Well, I me, mean, I think the prison would be under the jurisdiction of some other aliens on another planet, some farther way out. Oh, so like a ally, so they could help us, right? Yeah. Well, then I mean, come on. There's all these aliens that got more technology than we do. Like especially the alien that uh the boys alien. Like, yeah, all he, of them do. All he's the only aliens the last we, of his kind. Let's put it this way: all the aliens we have seen in Men in Black movies are all more advanced than the humans. Right. So why wouldn't they? Closer. Why wouldn't they keep a prison somewhere? Yeah, I know. Why is it our problem? You know exactly. Exactly. Why is boys our problem? They need a big old prison like Guardians of the Galaxy prison. You know. Ooh yes. But make sure they don't lock those guys up because they'll get out. Oh, that's really good, though. <laughs> like the Guardians of the Galaxy prison. 
Yes. Exactly. You would have a, a prison somewhere else, not on the moon. Set. It looks like a human prison. It's got walls and stuff. On the moon, you don't need sticking walls on the moon. I mean, that prison would get burnt. Yeah. It the just surface fall. of the moon gets pretty hot, okay? And plus the meteorites, there's no atmosphere, so meteorites just hit that thing. And it's sitting on top of it. You'd have to build it down in the moon. I thought we had that uh, walls because there's humans on that, right? Like, are those humans, or do you think they were all aliens? Uh, could, on... They must all be aliens. Oh. Because that, that girl, that, even the girl, uh, Nicole, she, whatever, she's from the Pussycat Dolls, by the way, if you didn't know. Oh, I didn't know. She's I a didn't singer. Know who it was. Okay. Well, anyways. I do I do know that I did like her, though. Like, oh, hello. Well, well, a lot of people do. She's, yeah, okay. she's on the. She's also on The Masked Singer. She's a, a, a judge on The Masked oh, Singer. Oh, yeah. I don't watch this, so I have no idea. Okay. Well, hey. I know if that you want to, if you want to see more of her, the only thing I know is. about a mass singer is uh, Nick Cannon is on it. Yeah, well, she's on there with Nick Cannon. Because uh, Nick Cannon is like Tom, uh, Tom, Thomas Jefferson, right? He's like you know thirty five kids or something. I don't know. Thomas Jefferson, ain't nothing like Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm talking about. I was making fun of uh, Nick Cannon having so many kids and like Thomas oh, no, Jefferson. I got, I got that. Oh, okay. Thomas you ever Jefferson see that Key and Peele bit? You know who Key and Peele is, right? The comedians? Yeah. Yeah. So they have one bit about like um, you know, these black people using twenty three and me, right? They, they made the they made the cat the cat movie. Oh the, yes, they made the cat yeah, Keanu. But in that yeah. uh, the skit they had, right? They talk about like these black people using twenty three and me or some kind of uh, DNA ancestry, right? And then yeah. like like oh, I find out that I'm related to Thomas Jefferson. And then the second black guy, I find out that I'm related to Thomas Jefferson. And then all these black people like, I'm related to Thomas Jefferson. I was like, okay, this is pretty messed up. <laughs> it's just yeah, basically it... making fun of Thomas Jefferson into black chicks. <laughs> well, he had slaves. Dude. Yeah, but you know what? I think he was just one of those um, people back then. He's, what do you call David Duchovny? Like a, a sex addict. Yeah, well, I yeah. don't know. All I know is he had a slave that was his woman and had kids with her, and he had a kids with his regular wife but you gotta think that was what 300 years ago yeah that's a long time think ago. about how many kids that are going to claim that they're your ancestor 300 years from now if Ooh, both of your man. kids have two kids each and both of their kids have two kids each and then all their kids have two kids each wow that's a lot of that's a that's gonna be everybody's gonna be claiming you as their granddaddy okay so so i mean so it may sound funny, but if you really think about it, it's like you are stupid. <laughs> it's, it's what it comes. It's what it comes down to. People are like, "Wow, this guy had a thousand kids kin to a uh, thousands of people kin to him." I'm like, "Well, yeah, like do the that. math. Three hundred years." I like uh, that we had that actress that's on the Max singer, and then you know I connected the Nick Cannon to the yeah. Thomas we Johnson. went all the way to how the world gets populated. <laughs> so uh, let me tell you, three hundred years ago, if you're if you look back for anybody 300 years ago, you're most likely you and the hundreds of other people are kin to that person. Hey, so you know how like the first and second one had a love interest for Will Smith, right? They didn't yeah. do that on this one. And you know what they missed? They have Frank is gone. The pug. Well, they had a picture of him. They have a picture rooms. of him in, in his, in Will Smith's room. And I'm thinking like, eh. does that mean he's dead? No, he just wasn't there. Oh. And I'm okay with that. I didn't really need the love interest because that would have interfered with his story. Yeah, this was a bros. This this was a bros story, okay? Oh, like I love you, man. This was like a bromance story, not a. It was very bromance, yes. Yeah, well, and it's kind of like you know. Did you like this one better than the first one? That's the thing. It's even with me. It's even because see, the thing is, you won't, you can't, you can't watch this one without the first one. You can't, and also the because there's not because there's not fun... enough because there's like this thing. There's not enough about Tommy Lee Jones' character. No. In this one, you'll just know Josh Brolin's take on it. Yes. So you need to know how grumpy and how they started. You need to know where Will Smith's <laughs> character grumpy started. Is. Well, you got to know where Will Smith's character starts, too. Yeah. And then you get to this. It's like, dude, this just is, uh, to me, this is the sequel to Men in Black. Yo, yeah, I, I agree, too. Well, it's also the prequel, too, so. Oh, that's really good. The prequel, and like it works both at the same time. It's it both time works travel. both ways. We got two for one on this movie. I did like, oh, too bad you haven't watched Deadpool 2. The device they give him, right, is similar to the device that Cable uses in Deadpool 2 because you could oh, really? pick the time. So and what you're whatever. telling me is Josh Brolin keeps the time clock from this movie and takes yeah. it with him when he plays Cable. That's right, exactly. That's what I'm telling what you. What a rip-off on stuff. <laughs> 
but they're both sounding. But it's not the they're first both... time they thought of like a, a gadget like that, anyways. And I mean, it's not many blacks no, the first only... to do it. No, everybody's done it. Yeah, like a time I mean, gadget. Come on. This other guy time traveled in a Aiden chair. Aiden has the same thing, right? With the watch. Yeah. Well, the time machine, they time travel in an easy chair with three lights on it. So. Yeah. <laughs> This light is red and this light is green. Time travel. I did like some of the lame jokes though. Like uh the, one of the lame jokes I like is like the president is drinking my milk. <laughs> the other lame joke is like, well, how do we time travel? Well first we gotta get high. No, I mean like high, like you know, really high. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, I thought that's what he was meant to, like, oh he meant like a height wise. Yeah, well, everybody looked at him. They're looking, look at this big Lebowski guy. You know, he's... he is, right? It, it gave me yeah. like he has more air time than like the Tommy Lee Jones. You know, the sad Lee thing Jones is, have it. Yeah, what? he didn't get a lot. Well, maybe he was getting tired of the movies. No, he liked to, he wanted to do this one. Well, he actually, they both wanted still wanted to do a fourth one, but you know, oh, they, yeah? they rebooted it already. Yeah, well, that sucks. That's just what I read, though. Oh, that should do another one. I'll watch another one. Hey, they did international. Did but you, you know what? I, I have not. Oh, okay. I have not yet. Because I want to, you know, do this one first before I'm tainted on my Oh, mind. okay. Okay. So, so they do international. They still do another one. They could. I mean, like, I have no idea how old Tommy E. Jones is now, you know. It doesn't matter. He could still be Agent K. You know what? He should be. He should run the place. He's the. He should be the next one to, like, the... Yeah. What did they call him? Instead of O. Z O. What? What? Like he's not the chief, right? Like they don't call like don't a know, name the like boss. that. Well, the boss. Well, they're just the head. I guess it's the head deal. But, but I mean, Emma Thompson must... is in a uh, international. Okay. Well, yeah, because it's all in the same timeline. You mean yeah, same, same universe. universe? I'm sure it's the same universe. Why would you change the universe? That would be stupid. Make another movie. Just say hey, we changed, we rebooted it completely. Or maybe just a different telling of the story. I don't know. Oh, I'm sure it's just more agents. They got like hundreds of agents. You can tell stories on any of the agents yeah, there. they can. It's just hundreds of agents. So you have Thor and Valkyrie as an agent. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thor and Valkyrie as an agent. It's a different timeline, but like it's uh yeah. That's how I saw it too when I saw the trailer. I mean, yeah, because I mean you got Captain Hiller and uh, Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> <laughs> well, Liam Leeson is in the international too. Only seen I mean, the don't trailer. Ruin it for him. Don't ruin oh, it. I only don't know it from the trailer. I'm, joking. I'm like, how can I ruin so, it from the trailer? So, so you're saying Dark Man's in it? Well, you could say Dark Man or Ra's al Ghul. Oh, Ra's al Ghul. Ooh. I don't know why you picked Dark Man. I don't know either. But well, I, was, I was on the superhero thing. Oh, Rob Roy, you know, because <laughs> he's in that movie too. Yeah, Rob Roy would be awesome too. I mean, whatever you play in Love Actually, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so what you're telling me was the Fresh Prince of Bel Air and uh... yeah. Hey, you know what? I think this is the first time I seen an agent that's not human. I'm talking about Andy Warhol here, like Agent W. Oh, you was know what? He they... human? He's no. They said he was a uh, alien. Where is he? No, he's an he? alien, right? Because at the end, when Brolin leaves, I come on, Kay, uh, come on, Kay. I can't tell the dif difference between the men and women anymore. When he said that, like, is he an alien or is he a human? Well, I don't know. It made it seem like it's alien, but then it, I couldn't tell. But you know what? The dog was an agent too. The uh -huh. Frank, oh, Frank. Oh the yeah. Second well, one Frank eventually became an agent. Yeah. But I don't see why. Yeah, you know, it just I didn't know what all men in black as they supposed to be all humans or. Well, whatever. maybe they weren't really uh human. Maybe they weren't really agents. Maybe they're just informants. Oh. Matter of fact, informants. Frank the pug was an informant. Oh, he was, right? In the first he one. A, yeah, yeah, he wasn't an agent. He was an informant. He wasn't so that means working there until the second one. So that means Andy Warhol's character was an informant, not an agent. No, they call him Agent W. Oh, did they? Well, that's they when, probably, uh, gave, it. That's they when, probably when, gave it to him. That's when Jay was like, oh my God, Andy Warhol is one of us. <laughs> uh, he gave it to him. I like um, I like how uh, Jay was trying to say all these slangs from his timeline. Like, no way, no, he's talking about like, man, I'll slip the crap out of you. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I enjoyed that a little bit when he tried to talk, like, I guess 2010 in this movie? 2012, it came out. Not, yeah, 2012. Yeah. See this. That's a long time ago. Huh. I know. But, the time, where has the time gone? <laughs> shoot, this is 10 years from now, and then we're talking about this now. Like, we yeah, said it, it for the seem, first time. It doesn't seem like it was 10 years ago to me. 
No, right? It feels like it was more wow. recent. Yeah, it seems like it's real recent. I thought it was just a few years before uh, International came out. Ooh. Wow, yeah, International came out 2019. So yeah, six know. years you know, after. Yeah, man, that's a long time still. God. So what are they going to do, make a movie every five, six years? But Man in Black, it looks like it. I mean, like, now, hold on. Well, I have not noticed Sony owns this. Yeah, it's yeah Sony. Sony's. So but we'll they're, too, too, they're too busy ruining Spider-Man to... Uh, I agree. Thank you. Yes, they're too busy with yeah. Spider Man. The the, to... the work on their Men in Black. Get back on Men in Black and make another Ghostbusters. Get on it. <laughs> oh, that's right. They should make another Ghostbusters, right? Like, and they'll probably just ruin why it. Why can they call it Ghostbusters International now? Like, hey, start something new. Like, we need something new, not the way that you guys try to do it before with the woman. Just do something new, completely new Ghostbusters. They did do something completely. Didn't you see the other Ghostbusters after? The I wouldn't women? say new. Okay, did you see the last Ghostbusters? Oh, of made? course I did. Afterlife? I saw that in the yeah. theater. That was last oh, okay. year at this time. Okay. It came well, out last it. November. It was, didn't you like it? Oh, it was great. It's, okay. it's well, also the ending about. again. It's the ending again that made that made it. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Oh, I actually enjoyed the entire movie pretty much. Oh, no, the movie was good. The new Ghostbusters. Yeah, I enjoyed yeah. it all. I mean, from the beginning to the end, I enjoyed the whole movie. So it wasn't the ending. The ending was good, and it helped the movie, but it, I didn't need the ending. I didn't did like the uh, J. J., J. Jonas Amos, Jameson was in Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't talked about it yet, but he's in the movie. <laughs> now, we should get there. Yeah. Uh... Well, I talked about the the new memories just form like the individual for Will Smith because he he act, he's the act, the one that actually knows about him. Yeah, even though we shouldn't like we first discussed, but he does because somehow he's like it's like butterfly effect on him or something. Yeah, and, it's very butterfly effect. And he's right? got to drink chocolate milk, and of course they're like, "Well, you drink chocolate milk, then that can only mean two things." <laughs> you either got some kind of parasite after she slaps him. Well, there's no parasite there, or. Oh, it's worse. Travel. What? This is worse? <laughs> yeah, we were. It's just time travel. Time travel. Time travel is made possible by aliens, but it's made out. They outlawed it because, you know. Yeah, and so you're not supposed to know it because it's, it's above your pay grade. Oh. It's like, I got the same pay grade as you did. I know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I, I wrote another line here. Like, you look like you came from the planet. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I wrote that, but then I forgot what the, what that came from. You know, Boris, yeah. you complete me. You know, it feels like the um the villain of this movie, right, is not needed in a way because he's important because he's the one that yeah, killed he's Jay. And he is make, a villain, villain, yeah. I mean, QK make Jay comes back. I did enjoy the scene when he talked to his younger self, though. So arrogant, you know. The ego is so big there. <laughs> I don't need you because I'm going to Cecile, I dude. He's here literally. Your future self is literally in front of you. I mean, yeah. how would you react, right, when your future self come? What would you ask your future self instead of, like, talking crap to him, like, I don't need you? Oh, and I don't know because I don't know if I want to know my future that bad. It depends on how bad. I mean, like, how old. Like, it's not like a five years, Shane. Like, a 15 years, Shane, you know, comes to you like, what? what do I say? 15 years from now, Shane? Oh, I got a lot of questions. <laughs> oh, what kind of questions? Let's go over those. Oh, <laughs> this is personal. Oh, personal okay. questions to ask. What about no personal questions? No, oh, I don't. I only got personal questions. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I could care less about the rest of stuff. Well, I will be taking notes. I'll get my notebook out. <laughs> I will ask him about some certain things. You know, what should I invest in? Uh, so in knowing some, what uh, you think we know about time traveling, and when you ask that questions, that's going to alternate. You already changed the timeline there. You understand? I'm changing the time. No, I'm changing my timeline. No, which dude, which, I, is that something which I can want to do, though? Dude, every five seconds, I change my timeline. Yeah, but you with don't know. But you don't know. I know, though. but you don't know. But it's still the same thing. You're making a. Now you're making an educated guess and still a, a, a Hail Mary guess. Oh, I like that, Shane. An educated guess. For the, the, thing is, the thing is, let's put it this way our futures aren't set. Because we're not in the same timeline as the future Shane from 15 years from now. As soon as he came into my timeline, my line, timeline changed, so I can do anything I want. Oh, so you just ask whatever you want. Why can't I? It's not going to affect his timeline. 
No. It won't hurt him at all. No, because he goes back to his timeline. Yeah, he goes back to his timeline. He was only gone for a second or like that, even though he was in my timeline for however many questions I got to ask him, maybe like a day, because it's going to take me a lot of crap to ask. But I mean, so he comes back to his timeline. He left, comes back. He's a day older in that timeline. His timeline just keeps on going with him having to make decisions that affects his life. The same thing when he leaves my timeline, I got to make decisions that's going to affect my life. But now. I got insider trading information. Hey, I just thought of something funny. You know how um, when we say we go back in time, right? Don't don't mess with too much because you might alternate your future. Yeah. So me being an immigrant, that's a bunch of bull crap. Okay, so I, I want to point to I want to I wanted to spill spill my beans. Why is bull crap? Okay, hold on. Okay. Me being an immigrant, I'm not in this country until 1989. So let's just yeah. say in 1989, now it's 2022, right? I go back in time to america 1960s how is that going to affect my future because i'm not in this country it's this see thank you so why can't i do stuff like for you it's different because you're in this you know you're in this well you gotta quit you gotta quit with that crap too what do you mean it's not gonna affect your deal because if you go back in time you're automatically in another timeline so it doesn't matter what you did oh that's what you believe i'm i'm oh you I believe guess it too. That. You've already gone. With, we've already done this on, on several of our other shows. You are in another timeline. Once you go back, because you're not in that timeline, you're never gone back in that timeline. You've created another timeline by just going backwards. Oh, so when you go, well, so we're saying that, yep. yeah, we cannot go back to go, where we are. It's you still will back not to go back future. in that timeline. You cannot save and make your life better. So it's like through- your life will be the same no matter what. The only problem you the only way you're going to ruin your life is if you jump out of this timeline you're in right now and go back and you can't get back in this timeline. Yeah, you can't be. And you're this- dead. Then you are dead in this timeline. And you will never see your wife, your kids or anything. You will be stuck with your oh, young right. self. Oh, you're right. We did talk about this. Yes. You will be stuck with your young self and you will have to make a whole different life. And wow. hope that you didn't change you didn't crap up stuff for your young self to get the life that you were currently have. Well, we should just go back to yesterday. Like instead of going back so far, right? like just go back to yesterday. <laughs> you can go back to yesterday, but what good is it gonna do? I don't know. So okay, so this is what's good. So for there's now there's two of you. It just one is a day younger in your timeline. So what if the day young what if the, the younger you doesn't really like the new you, the older you? But then well it depends. Well, he like, snuffs you out and takes your life. Maybe, or maybe we could do this thing where, like, you know, sometimes you watch the kids, right, and I'll go and have fun or something like that. Something very simple, okay? So, so let's just but, do it. So, okay, let's put it this way. What about your family and everybody in the timeline you left? I, I don't know. It sucks. <laughs> it sucks for them. <laughs> it sucks. It so sucks what? for them. So before you do that, right, just go ahead and get, a, like, a life insurance policy just to make sure that everybody's taken care of. Then you do this jump. So so you want to be at the second second hand and you you this guy's got his life he may not he might not I be happy don't know. would you be happy with with another you coming in your timeline and just taking over your life i wouldn't say taking over my life because you haven't heard uh, what i was gonna do yet okay tell me so remember the powerball was like 1.2 billion dollars okay so what happened is <clears throat> you go right and then you know mess up everybody's time no one's going to win that number 1.9 because i'm going to win it right now we'll just take the winnings right and now we have a different life or past lamb and current lamb if i'm saying this correctly. okay yeah you and you yeah. and other you, past prime, lamb and current let's lamb. put it this way prime lamb prime lamb you, yes and other lamb alternate other lamb. lamb alternate lamb because he's an alternate now right but so then, y'all gotta both live together with his family lamb. Oh His no, family. we're gonna live separately. You're gonna live separately. So you're gonna leave your family. Well, because, uh, the prime lamb could. Okay, so you're prime lamb. So you're but what happens you is prime so lamb could live saying? separately, right? But no, then is... past lamb is gonna split the lottery winnings. Okay, with with prime with prime lamb. lamb. So that way, like that way, we can have our cake and eat it too. <laughs> but you can't. One of you won't. Oh, what, who are you, what are you going to do? Oh, you I know get I will. Married? I know I will. Okay, so you're, like, so you're okay with not having a family or none of that? Yeah. You're just going to move I mean, on. like, you, we already made that decision, right? But you got to think, like, the the, the the alternate lamb has that. Okay, I like, know. You, alternate you, lamb has that. You're still thinking that. about, like, oh, well, about the other time? No, I'm talking That's about why. you because you're prime lamb. I, I already made my peace so with it. You're just going to get this life up that you have right now. That's right. I already made my peace with it because other lamb will have <laughs> the same life. Okay. Yep. You got to do what you got to do. My world, 
So I can't do this show no more. That's right, exactly. But, you, but you'll be living in your other. But world. then you will know that though, like the other. Well, yeah, you just disappeared one day. The yesterday, you're, you're missing everybody here in this world. Oh my god, we'll just call this movie the yesterday people, like like See, the yesterday. Now listen, listen, everybody's not looking for you. We can't find you. No. You went missing. Yeah. The other timeline, forever. we won't even know. We won't even worry no. about the other timeline. Anymore. So all your kids are gonna grow up without a dad. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. <laughs> you don't seem to care. <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna be tough. Well, I can Man, say it for, now because it's not gonna, never gonna happen, you know. For a billion dollars, <laughs> you trade everything in for just a billion dollars and another time on. Well, like me and my other Chinese friends, like everybody has a price, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently so. Uh, apparently for Chinese so. people, everything has Appar- a price. Everything. Apparently so. You would yes. trade all this in. Yes. Okay, that's cool. Would you, Shane? Yeah, but I don't have anything the exactly. time. Exactly. Oh, I know. Yeah. Wouldn't it be easy I don't have for any... you? If I had a wife and kids, I wouldn't. Oh, but then you would right now, though, right? Yeah. Why not? Nobody so what happens is, like, when you say when I have a wife and kids, right? But if I do this, the alternate lamb has a better life for his family and kids too. Yeah, the alternate. Li- you are correct. You it's are really correct. tough. Like, well, like one of you are one because, of you is sacrificed because that's what I want. Yeah, but. What about the people that you know and love in this world? They it's, lose all of it. It's tough because I'm not seeing them anymore, right? Because in it's my mind, on, I, no, I you, could believe like the ultimate yeah, you're right, one. You're right. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough for you because you're not seeing them. Anymore. Well, you're forgetting. You're, the, it's also tough for them because they're not seeing you anymore. Exactly. But then the now ultimate, they got all but, of them got to make. No, listen. All of them got to make a sacrifice just so you could have your pie and eat it too. Yeah, exactly. It's very selfish. <laughs> so time travel self. is very selfish because like I could say time the ultimate family extremely. the ultimate oh, yeah, yeah. family is going to have it all but the other yeah. one won't yeah you're but then how yeah. is that different from let's just say alternate timelines the world like how is that different from everything that we don't see right now we will never know well yeah you're right the only diff make this a difference is because I know that's it well yeah only you know but everybody else is lost exactly because then only I know the only person that uh I don't want to say too suffering, but it would be me, which is what we just say. No, it isn't. You're not going to suffer at all. Your family will. Well, it's missing them too, but then I, there's another version. No, of there yesterday. could be all kinds of things that can happen now that you're gone. Now I want to think about this stupid movie yesterday. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Because people the thing take is, time but the travel thing, too you're, far. Because the thing is, once you jump out of time, now so many things can change. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who knows what happened with that? With how you affect somebody's life, now you're not there to affect it. Now their lives could be spiral out of control. It could be, or it might not. So no, basically, I'm, sure I'm rolling the dice on this one. Well, who's gonna? Who's gonna? How's your wife gonna speak to your parents? Well, do we have Google already? She'll have to call your. We sister. have a um, we have a Star Trek device. Okay, I'm sure you, know. you got. I'm sure you got an answer for everything. What about oh, your I, kids? I kind of do. What about hey, you your know kids? What? They got to be tough. Oh, they better make. You just blew them off to get some money and save another family. Basically, it's the it's them, which is weird, right? It's a sacrifice I made for them, but then they still whip the reward. For all you know, though, you'll go through this other timeline. You'll get your cake. You'll be eating your cake, and then you'll start missing your family. So you'll probably uh, hatch this murder scheme. You'll kill alternate you and take his place. No, now I thought of something else, though. Let's just say um, alternate lambs do have the family, right? And then prime lamb has another family with somebody else and then pretty soon like it would be weird <laughs> kind of like it feels like the alternate lame is cheating on heather <laughs> but like how how are these had the same genetic parent like what the hell is going on that's the yeah. story right there in the future the like, like ethan has other brothers and sisters like how is yeah. that possible because basically you are cheating you just went into another timeline yes and you're doing it so oh, you have, so so their dad has a whole other family my, but my it's head in that is, time is hurting and full of excitement at the same time because <laughs> these ideas are just popping out of nowhere. Yeah, well, how are you going to do the uh, social security card and all that stuff? Well, you're going to have to do all kinds of stuff. Well, with that much money, what does it matter? Yeah, but that doesn't matter. Like, I just moved. Exactly. Uh, I, why don't I just move to another country? You could. Yeah. I even talked to Heather about moving to the Philippines when we retire. <laughs> oh, you know why, okay. though? 
No, I don't know. Because why. first of all, I want to live on an island, right? I'm not going to be no. one of those rich people there to buy an island. island. Yeah, I do want to live on an island. And also, it's a third world country down there. So it's still everything is cheaper than... I don't think you, you would know. be able to live on an island. You don't think so? Why not? No, because you like to go do things. Oh, when I'm, oh, when I don't want to do anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. <laughs> I just want to go where the uh, thing is cheap. And I, I mean, one day it. you go, oh, I wish I had some spicy Cheetos. And you go, Shane, could you send me some spicy Cheetos? I'd be like, well, that's what you get for living on I'm an island. I'm going to tell you no. right now, I don't even eat spicy, spicy Cheetos now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. What do you eat? Uh, I eat Regular like, Doritos? Protein. I, just, I don't even eat Doritos that much. Oh, okay. Because it's dry and like, I just So basically, there's up. probably nothing you're going to miss. So we're good. A lot of stuff I might not miss. It sounds like you're already dead now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried that I should just retire. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do we get to this? I don't know. We're talking about time travel. We took the wrong road, okay? We took the road less traveled, by those normal folks. Oh, really? Way less ta- travel? Because, like, I'm right, right? Every time you see a time travel movie, it's a very significant amount of time. They never do well, something yeah. where, like, why oh, don't you just travel back to yesterday? Well, <laughs> well, there he is. Comedy movies always travel back to the yesterday or so far. Oh, I need to but why them. would you travel back to yesterday? I mean, you just got all this power. <laughs> travel back to yesterday. You really can't uh, do too much. I and mean, then you're just knocking yourself out of your regular life. You know what? We did. We, we, we and putting yourself seen, in with somebody else's. We both seen that movie Primer. They yeah, travel we did. back only six hours at a time because yeah. that's the limitation. Yeah, but you're always going to end up with somebody else still, unless okay, your self, so, your other self, jumps out of time. So, if you have a time machine, why would you go back so far or so forward? Why not? Oh, I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Why not go Figure. just go back? To I would. I, I think because I don't want to go back and see myself. Oh, you don't want to go back to yourself. Okay. Oh, this what guy's already do? trying. This guy's already trying to live his life. I sure don't need two Shanes there. It'll <laughs> just make it worse. What do you mean, what would I do? We already had this discussion. I'm going back in time taking over the world. <laughs> oh, that's right. How how far back again? I don't know. I would like to, I'll probably take a couple of vacations back too, you know? Probably go back to the 60s, take a vacation to see what it was like and just have a good time. Then I go back to the 1930s and see that. Hopefully I don't get shot doing alcohol, drinking alcohol and bootlegging. And then I want to jump back, probably go back to like, you know, 1700s the very late 1700s when this country is starting to be formed and show them how to build machine guns and so forth. Oh, with that technology? Yeah. What they had back I, then? Yeah. And hopefully I don't get sick. But I got all my shots. I <laughs> don't get sick. So before well, you time travel, on. make sure that you're vaccinated. Before you come on. Back. back then, when you got the flu or like the cold, they yeah, let out die, blood. Right? No, they let out blood. Ooh. Because they thought that the disease was in your blood had come out. I'd be like, ah, no, we're not doing that. Oh. So you don't have to bring any weapon we back. You could just teach them how to build it. Yeah, I just have to go find me a couple blacksmiths and stuff and show them some stuff. Go find Ben Franklin and show him some stuff, get some money. You know, I know who to talk to. I've read history books. Wow, so you actually want to go back that far? I don't know. Oh, okay. It would be... I mean, that would be the the farthest back you can go and take over the world. It'd be easier. Because, <laughs> I mean, there's a bunch of free land out there. I was going to say. Because not everybody owns all of America yet. Yeah, I was going to say, if I acted like you, right, I feel like the TVA, is it the TVA? Yeah, it's the TVA. <laughs> it's going to be formed <laughs> because of this guy. Because <laughs> I was like, you know yeah, what? Well. To me, right? Hey, you know what's really funny? Like, why don't I wait? I go back in time, right? And I help Hitler win the war. Then I just leave. I guess I could go back to the middle of the 1800s, too. I got to go back to a time where I can go get land and just take it over. Get land and take it over. Well, yeah, because they had free land back then. That sounds... Just go um, get you... Yeah, you just go over there and claim this land is yours. That must be one of the whitest thing I've ever heard from you. <laughs> okay, well, I hate to tell you this. It doesn't matter what color you were. If you came to America, you get a charter. You want land, land, yeah. Why would you go try to get... Because they're not going to have any money. It's hey, gonna work. where did you say again? Uh, 1800s, you get land from where? Oh, you can get anywhere. Certain states haven't formed yet. So land's free. Oklahoma oh. gave land away with the turn of the century. Oh. Texas was free land. Kentucky was free land, depending on what year no. you go back. All those states have free land. They got to have people to go settle it. So they that's, give it to you. That's very They're not going to sell it to you. I mean, even in Texas, Germany had charters. There's a lot of German immigrants in Texas because they came over and got the land. They settled it, got it, make it. It's yours. Oh, my that's gosh. It works. 
This whole country was well, so like, Just because you mentioned that? that, right? I wonder if that's how um, Hitler's grandfather got the land because he's German. Well, it depends on what time he came back. If he came back and got it. And oh, just, no, no, no. Not him. Land. Maybe not him specifically, right? It could be his grandfather. Like, Hitler's well, yeah. great, great, great grandfather. Well, one of your great grandfathers. That's how my grandfather's got land. You come here, they go. If you don't die, you get that land. <laughs> You know, it's interesting. I wonder if I could how ask you, Heather. I mean, think about it. There's all this land. Hey, I don't know how that works, man. I'm not from around here, okay? I don't even <laughs> well, know what the history from my country. You think I'm, no, oh, I'm going to know the well, history y'all did, Well, your country owns everything. The Chinese country owned everything. Hong Kong is here. It's a little island. Hey, I didn't say I was Chinese, okay? I'm English. I didn't say you were Chinese. <laughs> I said the Hong Kong was here. Uh, but we're going with it, okay? Okay. Because apparently, if you're from Hong Kong now, I don't know if you talk to any Chin- uh, Hong Kong people, they could tell you they're Chinese straight up. Talk yeah. to someone on the internet. I was like, are you it's sure? Crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. Time. You have to tell me you're Chinese or you get banned. So psh, <laughs> go with it. Well, technically, if you're from Hong Kong now, you are Chinese. From, uh, I guess it's the millennials of Hong Kong. I have no idea. Who knows? Well, I mean, China owns Hong Kong now. It's just so. like so confusing. China owns Hong Kong. No, they can't, currently kind of do. I mean, I don't know if you know this. <laughs> I do, but, you know, I don't work because I'm American, so... so oh, okay, yeah, problem. who cares? It's not my problem either, but you never know. But uh, this is the only country that have to, I have to be represented as Chinese-American? No, you can say whatever you want. It's America. America, right? Yeah, it's like, America. I if did... you say you're Chinese American, then you're Chinese American. If you say, "Hey, I'm Cantonese American," people are like, "What's oh, that?" I'm and saying, you tell get, them about it. I'm Ooh. saying, get rid of that. At all. I'm just saying, I'm American. We're both saying. Oh, you like can a... do that too. You got your cards. It's good. Everything's good. All you have to do is say, "I'm American." <laughs> I'm American. So go ahead, I'm American. So if it says something, you go, hey, "I'm American, dude." And that's just thought... like, let me tell you what. If some white guy goes, "Hey, hey, Chinese American guy," you go, "Hey, I'm American." Let me promise you, he won't say no. <laughs> <laughs> you're American all of a sudden. Okay. If you take if you take it, then you're not American. Yeah. Don't take crap from anybody. That's not that's the un-American way. Yeah, un-American. I'm American. If someone goes, if someone goes, hey, Chinese American, and you just sit there, go, okay. <laughs> that's not very American. Nah. I'm not even American's... sure people think I'm Chinese. First of all, nobody even knows. Everybody thinks you're Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> that's very true. A lot of people probably think I'm Mexican <laughs> because you know it's so funny. I talked, uh, you know. Uh, you know, I have to foster kids, right? They're black. Yeah. So I already talked to Heather, like, you know, um, if people look at me and these two kids were just the three of us, right? They won't think that much of it. But if I don't it's know just, that they might. They might, but then they... Because if I saw you with those, I'd be like, huh. Weird, right? I how... But well, then I'd be like, well, he married a black woman. But yeah, see, but if it's Heather and those two of them, there's a lot more going on in here in the brain, right? Than opposed to me being with them well, by myself. Well, if I just saw Heather and those kids, I'd be like, huh, I guess she's married to a black guy. <laughs> now, if I see you and I saw her, I'd be like, man, I don't know how that makes with a guy with two black kids. <laughs> but maybe that Maya and Soy Sedana's kids, you don't know. <laughs> or Sandra Bullock. But I already know that's your wife, so so you cheated on your yeah. wife. Okay, cool. Well, that's usually how it happens. Oh, maybe, I don't know why, oh, maybe I don't know they why think she... Heather is uh, someone I marry after. That's the other thing, too. Yeah, but I'm, let me put it this way. If somebody is to see you and well, Heather and those two versa. kids, nobody's going to ever think that those two kids <laughs> came from you at all. Oh, yeah. No one's going to think. Like, came they're probably going to think they're us. hers and then you married her, but they're not going to yeah. think those are yours. <laughs> it's going to be really weird going forward. Oh, well. Yeah, well. I mean, I'm American, future. bitch. That's why yeah, I say. Just, uh, this is the way it works now. Do here. whatever I want. I'm American. I but eat. it also depends. On, I think it has a lot to do with the region you're in. I mean, up there, it's not a big deal. Here, people are going to look at it. Oh, wait. But first, off, first off, people are going to look at you for a little bit and go, huh, you never seen a Chinese guy before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, okay. Mexican. That's me. <laughs> well, well then, then, then you don't even look Mexican. That's pretty so oh, I, I don't, don't know what I look I'm like. I'm going to tell you this straight up. We have, <laughs> You straight up, you don't look Hispanic at all. I don't right now because I'm not. I mean, I guess you could look technically. You could look Mexican because Mexicans actually a nation and not a race of people. Yes. So you could have been a. Your parents could have came from China and immigrated to Mexico. You were born in Mexico because I mean, come on, Ooh. Louis C.K. is Mexican. Yeah, Louis C.K. is Mexican. Which he is looks Louis. like he's Irish as the day as any Irishman, but he ain't. Red hair. <laughs> but he ain't. He's Mexican. Exactly. 
Wow. Well, but I who knows? I think uh, you know what? I think I can call it right here. Do we have. Yeah, enough? I think we've beaten enough bullet time, so <laughs> let's just go on with all this. All right. Then we'll do a. Uh, I'll Major- see This was uh, something else. Yes, this is definitely something else, and we'll see everybody next week. Thank you for tuning in for this episode of Pinsai Reviews. If you like what you heard, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Spotify and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you on the next one.